Hi all, how are you? I am doing well today for once in my life. I can say that. Thank you. Um, thanks for joining in. I am doing a grocery slash shopping, grocery shopping haul. Um, not all of it is food, but most of it is. And well, let's see. Today, this morning was mops. And then my grandparents are coming for the weekend, maybe through Monday or Tuesday. So I did a grocery shopping for the kids and I and then um some meals and lunch stuff for while my grandparents are here so it's kind of a big ish haul it's not ginormous but um it was about let's see probably 250 I think for all of it but some of it is extra stuff some of it is stuff I probably didn't have to buy um we are foregoing the healthy and expensive theme <laughs> i am going to i know i say this all the time maybe but for real i am cracking down on the money because i just need to be frugal and feed my kids and me and i can't do like super fancy healthy food so some of it i mean most of it is healthy but some of it you're gonna be like um jessica that's crap so Anyway, no further ado, I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to do this haul so I can get it all put away and go vacuum under my dining room floor. <laughs> under the dining room floor, under the dining room table because I haven't done that in about 24 hours <laughs> and it's bad. So, turn in your around. Okay, we're going to start with the bagged stuff. This is not one of the food items. It is a 25-foot um, tether for Bella because she has decided, hold on, I have to tell you this. This dog, okay, so you know, like when John first left, she was like tearing apart the fence and getting out. Well, now she has discovered, hold on, I gotta show you this, just a second. See that fence right there? Nice, my black finger. This is a, like a six foot fence. And then that all is like four foot fence because in our backyard, we have those rocks so our yard elevates so we only have this like four foot fence maybe it's five foot and they put lattice on top of that but here where we hit the edge of the neighbor's house they did not put lattice and that is the same height as the short fence and my dog if i leave her if i put her out back and i leave her from like more than 30 seconds and i don't watch her she goes oh i'm alone and she goes bloop 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 over the short fence I'm pretty sure because at least like twice yesterday morning before nine o'clock in the morning she was out front and she'll just randomly get out front and I'll be like doing something and I'll see something run by our front windows and I'm like was that the dog and I can't like there's no holes I went and checked over on the fence she's been tearing apart and there's no holes and the gates closed and there's no holes so the only thing I can think of is she gets like a running start and she jumps that four foot fence so for the long run I don't know what I'm gonna do but for now if I want her outside for longer than 30 seconds I bought her a tether and it's short enough that it won't let her jump any of the fences and hang herself, but it's long enough that she'll get a little bit of running room. So, um, and I'm gonna triple measure to make sure because my family's actually had a dog hang themselves over a fence and that was traumatic. So I'm gonna make sure that she definitely is safe. And then if it is, I'm gonna keep it and she's gonna be tethered on nice days. I'm not one that leaves my dog outside all the time. I do believe that if you have a dog, it is a pet and they do belong inside with your family. Um, I'm not the kind of person that leaves my dog outside all the time. That's okay if you do, if it's nice, but if it's freezing or if it's like 100 degrees, then I have a problem. But if, you know, if they, if the dog doesn't mind and that's what your family does, that's great. She is not used to being outside all the time, obviously, because she escapes. <laughs> So that's what that is. Now that we went on that little tirade, that's her tether that I'm going to try out. These my Walmart still had for a dollar, so I got some. Um, I really like the rough. They're not the softest in the world, and I like that. So I got pink and white, and I got blue and white. Some of them I might decorate, but mostly they're just for my house. I did get some Snuggle air fresheners because I really like that smell. Um, and, you know, I'm... <laughs> paranoid about how my house smells so I got two of those 
for now because candles just aren't cutting it. Let's see. This was on the dollar shelf. So I got that from myself. And then I got myself some um, Equate, which is compared to Cetaphil. Because I almost got Cetaphil. And then I was like, oh, they have Equate for like $3 less. Uh, cleanser and some Neutrogena moisturizer because I've been using the Young Living Cleanser for like a month and it's not helping with the around, with the around my mouth area. I break out all around my mouth and it's so gross and the Young Living is not helping and I'm just, I'm just gross. So I'm going to try a store-bought cleanser that is not $60 and then um, I got the Neutrogena moisturizer because I'm out of my Young Living moisturizer that I really love but that is too expensive for my budget right now. I just needed a simple light moisturizer that I'm not like putting body lotion on my face. So, and no, I can't do coconut oil. Coconut oil and my body do not get along. So you guys are learning all kinds of things. Walmart had these house pants slash sweatpants. They're sweatpants. They're not quite leggings like here. They're not quite leggings. They're originally $10. They had them for $3. So I went ahead and got myself some because that's pretty much what I wear. I refuse to wear actual leggings because I don't want people seeing my butt. I have a problem with leggings. Um, I got some potatoes. I got some bread for sandwiches and toast and that stuff for the kids. Um, some burgers. These are for school snacks and for while my grandparents are here. Um, a chips pack and a popcorn pack. Those are for school snacks. Um, and just snacks in general. I'm trying to get my kids off of snacking, but they need something every once in a while. I got more Cheerios, tomatoes. This is cauliflower rice that I'm going to try, um, probably for a chicken dish. Phoebe asked for Capri Suns as the special thing this time. I got Cheez-Its for snacks. I got a thing of lettuce, mainly because I forgot it at Walmart. <laughs> Blueberries for kids and people to, and grandparents to eat. Celery hamburger. I got a roast to do in the Instapot while my grandparents are here. Um, some lunch meat for snacking and lunches and all that stuff. Some more oranges, some apples, because Tyron was really bummed that I didn't get apples last time I shopped, and I was like, I didn't know that you felt that way. So I got some small, the cheapest apples that Costco had, and they're small gala apples. So that'll be nice. And they're small so they don't get wasted. I'm going to try... I hate how fat it is. Look at how fat this asparagus is, you guys. Um, so I'm really worried about it. But it seemed like a normal price. So I got it from Costco. And we'll do that with a meal while my grandparents are here. I got another veggie tray. I got a box of Nutri-Grain bars for snacking for the kids. I got some more heavy cream. Because I just do better when I buy the little ones instead of the big ones. Because then the big ones go bad before I can use them. I got some turkey meatballs. Mainly because I could not find them at Walmart. And these are all Costco had. Um, which is fine. They're amazing. We've had them like at the sample table before. So they're good. But Brooke is constantly asking for meatballs with spaghetti. And I always forget. So I remembered. I got some cantaloupe for some snacking. I got these. These are amazing. They're those little, they're round cheeses, but they're organic, um, and they were on sale at Costco, and we love, the little kids and I love them. They just taste really good. I got some activity, activity, ah, uh, activia, and I got some milk, so that, I think, is it. For some reason, that doesn't seem like it, but it is. So, you got a grocery haul and some you know, rambling in there. But that's what we got this time. I think it'll last. I know I'm going to think of something that I forgot. But so far, I have not. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this a thumbs up. If you are new, thank you for joining us. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell so that YouTube will tell you the next time another video comes up. And if you are returning already a subscriber. Thanks so much for coming back. We'll see y'all later. Bye.